follow Paul Hamilton here. Uh, we're going to take a look at Science Journal. I love when I come across new apps that I've, you know, I try and keep up to date with what's coming out. And, and Science Journal by Google is one that I kind of missed and I haven't seen it before. So let's take a look at how we can use it maybe in the classroom. So I'm going to start by hitting the plus. You'll notice that the user interface is very similar to other Google um, applications. So it's kind of that um, similarity and, and, and having common threads with the UI design. So I'm just going to click up the top and let's name this. Uh, let's go with uh, Sound Experiment. And I love when I come across apps that uh, really make use of the sensors and the different elements on an iPad. It's really, really powerful. So what we're going to do here is you can see here I can make some observations. Um, I could put in a little picture if I wanted to, but where this app really shines is its ability to record um, authentic and real data um, and actually use that in other applications and so forth. So if I click on the second one along there, you can see I've got my accelerometer there. And so when I actually kind of raise and tilt my iPad, I can actually record how fast it's actually moving. Really, really powerful stuff. So if I shut that one down, Oh, sorry, if I add a new one and it's got accelerometer there, you can see all the different ones that we've actually got. So we can do barometers and so forth. We can do brightness. Um, how good would it be just to kind of look at different places in the classroom um, where it's bright and dark and looking at some kind of different things there? Uh, you can see compass degrees. Uh, we can do a whole range of different things. The thing that really I wanted to look at is we can look at how uh, high pitched things are, and we can even look at the decibels and the uh, sound intensity. So if I go up, oh, and you can see that it, I had a little uh, spike there, and what we can do is actually record that data. So it's actually recording now, and when we finish, uh, we can actually have a, a record of it. And it's probably not working because I've got my microphone and some different things coming, but you can see there, fantastic real data that we're actually grabbing there um, and then we can actually obviously use in the different attributes there. You can also go into your settings and actually turn these on and off and do some different things here and you can obviously make some um, observations. Um, I noticed uh, that and I can actually record some of those things and actually send those. And it's all within the Google Google uh, ecosystem as well. So I really wanted to just call uh, Science Journal down the bottom here. And it's just a fantastic way of conducting experiments. Um, what are the loudest kind of uh, parts of the classroom? Uh, where are the lightest? Where could I actually use that information? And then obviously we can drill down quite a lot into using that data, maybe putting it into a spreadsheet and kind of come up to, with some conclusions about how we might use that data there. So it's Science Journal. It's a free app, absolutely brilliant in regard to the kind of data we can collect in the classroom. And I can't wait to see what teachers come up with in regard to integrating this with their current units of practice. Paul Hamilton here, signing off.